with me I've got prospect Kirk Garvey. What's happening, Kirk? Not much, yeah, doing well. How good, you doing? Good, yeah, we're just previewing your fight on Saturday against Mitch Mitchell, uh, your second professional fight. Can you tell me a little bit about how you're feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Like, uh, I'm buzzing for it. Can't wait to, uh, to get in there and get a job done, yeah. Second professional fight. A lot of people know about you from your amateur career. Could you tell us some of your amateur titles that you won, Kirk? Yeah, I won uh, three junior ABA titles, a Golden Gloves title, um, a senior ABA title, some four nations and a couple of uh, three nations and a GB uh, three nation title as well as a senior. So yeah, got a few titles there. Fantastic achievement as an amateur. What what took you so long to decide to turn pro and try yourself in the paid ranks, Kirk? Well, yeah, I was sort of hanging around for the 2012 Olympics. Obviously, you know, it's in London. I wanted to do that. But um, it just I weren't really getting picked for the GB squad, so I thought, you know, yeah, just try my luck at this. And I want to always want to be world champion, so yeah, give it a go. Can you tell us some of the names you fought and, and beat as an amateur coach? Does that feel right? Yeah, yeah, I boxed, uh, boxed a few big names, you know, uh, Frank Buglioni, Agogo, um, Jose Burton, um, Jose Burton, yeah, John Ryder. But, you know, I've won and beat, beat them. A couple of them have beat me back as well. But, you know, I've mixed with top opposition in the amateurs, yeah. So you're doing a bulk of your training with Jim McDonnell and James DeGal at uh, the Gold's Gym. How are you finding that, mate? Yeah, loving it. Uh, me and Jim get on really well. He's a good character, you know, he's a laugh. Uh, but, yeah, it's tough training, you know. He puts you through it. So, you know, you know when you get in the ring you're going to be 100% fit. And he knows his stuff. I mean, he's been European champion. He's one of the most skillful boxers Britain's ever had. So, you know, he, you know, he knows all his skills and... To, you learn so much every day at the gym. Does he still go out and do the runs with his boys? Yeah, he puts us through, you know, brings us for the runs. <laughs> you, you're, you're rather when he don't come, to be honest, you can uh, <laughs> nip a bit more of a breather. But yeah, it's good, it's good. He uh, keeps you on your toes like that. If he can do it, then you've got to be able to do it, I suppose, isn't you? Yeah, indeed. He's very fitness orientated, Jim. Yeah, yeah, very uh, very fitness orientated. You know, he's, as I said, you know, you know when you get in that ring, you're going to be 110% fit. But he does also know his stuff as well, like skill wise and everything like that, yeah. So you feel you're in the right place? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm loving, loving being in the gym at the moment, yeah. All right. Just looking ahead on Saturday, how confident are you doing the job on Mitch Mitchell, mate? Yeah, like I'm, every time I get in the ring, I'm 100% confident, you know. I totally believe in my ability and same again, you know. Saturday night, going to do the same again. Get in there to win and I'm going to win and, yeah, look forward to moving on and doing bigger stuff. But each fight as it comes. Yeah, see what happens. We're in Clapham today, so am I expecting a big South London support for you at your call on Saturday? Yeah, there'll be big support, always bring a big support. Um, see, so yeah, yeah, I mean, I do a lot of tickets. This is where I'm from, been here since I was a kid, so yeah, it's a nice place. Nice place. I'm Kurt Garvey, you're watching the Cassius and Helder show. Uh, tune in Saturday Live, watch me in Box Nation going to be a great show and yeah I'll see you all there <laughs>